Hi, my name is Anthony Rebo, co-founder and CEO of Rebo. They came to us for an app. A, that Harrison Hall are a coffee shop company. They were looking to fill a gap in the market. They, there was many artisan coffee co companies on the market. There's also many high street providers of coffee, but there's not very good coffee provided by them. They were looking at filling the middle segment there, providing a better quality coffee experience to the masses. But they came to us for an app, but it's not really just about an app. So we took a step back and asked ourselves, why do people go to coffee shops? Ultimately, it's for two main reasons. For a coffee experience and for a social experience. You don't go for a queuing experience, for a payment experience. So how can we create something that will focus on the first two and reduce or ideally remove any other types of experience that have existed up to now mainly because of legacy, legacy technology and innovations over the last 150 years. How can we create that better coffee experience for Harris Hall customers? Assumptions come from everywhere. I used to say um, never, never have assumptions, but actually everyone has them. But the main thing to do is to list them down uh, from every party and essentially put them in the spreadsheet and work out which ones scare you the most and uh, which are your biggest. Then look, look at those, pick one or two and get, have a focus of a week. How can you test that assumption or that set of assumptions within just a week? How can you learn? So at Rebo, we're addicted to learning and learning, learning very fast. Uh, the way we start a project is with something that we call the Rebo Sprint Zero, um, where it's, it's a week-long phase and it's split into five, you know, um, five, five phases. Day zero is, that, is, a, is a point in time where we get the client to pitch their vision, the opportunities, the problems to us. And we start to kind of break it all apart and the role of that is to, to get us on the same level of understanding as them. Day one, which is Tuesday, is the day where we go wild. They make the most out of us, having worked in many different industries, having that fresh perspective. Uh, we call that kind of the, the diverge. Uh, and then day three is where you start to add the constraints, where you start to focus down in a converging state onto a particular, what we call customer journey a critical path, by the end of that Wednesday, you've sketched and agreed on that core critical path. The Thursday is like, that's the magical day where uh, one, of the, one of the things I've loved, having been in this industry for 16, 17 years, is this, this term prototyping. Now, prototyping, uh, in terms of the tools, it's erupted in the last few years. There's so many amazing tools and You've got to pick the right one for the job. It's not one size fits all. Um, and, but Thursday is a day dedicated to essentially prototyping, creating a, a, a prototype experience that focuses on that critical path. By the end of the Thursday, we may be a little bit tired, but we're excited about the Friday, because on Friday, we've got five real customers coming in and we're going to give them the prototype test.